do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we got a really quick PS2 related tutorial today showcasing how to use Cheat Device. So basically go to the video description, I have a link, download the latest version from GitHub, download the zip file, extract it to USB, and copy it over to your memory card. And in this video footage, we see that I saved some time and we're just running the ELF file from the memory card. So once you're inside the actual Cheat Device program, what you wanna do is go find your favorite game, and using R1, L1, you can sort of page out, page down as an example here. And today's showcase, we're gonna showcase um, Gradius 3. So if you wanna select some cheats, you just press the X basically to enable whatever cheats you want. They turn yellow. And I'm just gonna scroll through this list here so you guys have an idea of what kind of cheats are available for this particular game. So take a look at the game list. Maybe your favorite game is in this cheat device program. And then you can go ahead and enable the cheats that you want. Once you do have the cheats enabled, then eventually what's going to happen is you press circle until you get to the main menu, go to your start game, go ahead, boot, uh, boot the boot.elf homebrew file, which I have located on MC0. Afterwards, navigate to your open PS2 loader. In my case, I have it under my boot folder. And I'm using a USB today for my games, as an example. And once it's loaded here, I'm going to go ahead and boot uh, or load Gradius 3.4 and the game will start and the cheats will be applied. And how do I know the cheats are working? Well, very soon here in the gameplay footage, you'll see me run into enemies and run into the walls and I should die, but I don't. So that's the cheats working. Now there are other alternatives out there. There's Cold Breaker. I've done a USB video on in the past and also how to defeat the black screen. But some gamers, for whatever reason, they still get a black screen, even though if they remove the USB ahead of time, so I recommend give Cheat Device a try as a free program. You can get it from GitHub. Like I said, really easy to install. I think the hardest part is trying to figure out how are you gonna get the files onto your memory card. So you could do it with Freemic Boot, Free DVD Boot. If you have Funtuna or Fortuna already, you can use those. If you have Free HDB, if you have internal hard drive on your PS2, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of methods out there it's just a matter of what method are you gonna pick so you can you know, install these files to your memory card. And if you need more help, uh, leave a comment on the YouTube uh, video here or visit the Discord and I might be able to help you out further. But anyways, you can see that I've sort of run into some enemies already and I should have died, but I didn't. And pretty soon here, I believe I'm gonna run into some walls and I should die too, but I don't. So let's wait a little bit here, see? And I should have died, but I didn't. So that is today's very quick tutorial on cheat device uh, and the PS2. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.